Memorizing the exact side chains of all the amino acids is not an important thing for the MCAT, and they're unlikely to test that directly except for three or four special ones that we'll be going over momentarily. However, you should know how amino acids are classified. They're all classified based on the R group, or you might hear it as the side chain. The side chain can be classified as being nonpolar or polar, and if it's polar, it can either be acidic, basic, or neither. The nonpolar ones tend to have side chains that are mostly hydrocarbons. One or two of them has a nitrogen in there somewhere, but it's primarily carbon and hydrogen groups. The polar ones can be separated into three of these groups. The acidic ones, which have a COOH group, a carboxylic acid in the side chain. And you'll recognize those ones because the amino acid will have blank acid as its name. The basic ones have an amino group in their side chain. And the amino group is a nitrogen with various hydrogens bound to it. And if it's polar, but neither acidic nor basic, it could have any of several functional groups. It could have an amide functional group, which is an amino group directly next to a carbonyl group. You can have alcohol, or you can have a cysteine, which is a particular one with an SH group at the terminal part of its side chain. And so the classification of amino acids, first you wanna know if they're nonpolar or polar because the nonpolar ones tend toward the inside of the protein and the polar ones tend to face outside. And then the acidic, basic, or polar, but neither acidic nor basic qualities all influence the tertiary structure and how they interact with each other.